Is there anyone on earth who knows you more than God? Your parents do not know everything about you. Your spouse does not know everything about you. Only God knows everything about you. God even knows your mistakes, your failures, your shortcomings, your faults, your weaknesses, your imperfections, and your inadequacies. Knowing all this about you, God still loves you. No one can deny that this world is an abode of troubles, commotion, and problems. You meet these troubles and it seems like no soul cares about your story. You have problems within and you find it hard to tell people about them. You laugh with people and talk freely with people, but none of these people know the situation you are facing in your life. None of these people know you cried yourself to sleep last night. None of these people can boldly say they will be there for you through whatever you face. Do you know why they will not always be there? It is because they have their own problems too. Now who can help you with your problems? I want to remind you that God will always be there. He will not leave you. He will not forsake you. He will not abandon you. This is the biggest problem with Christians I have found. The biggest problem with Christians is that they attempt to compare the love of a human being to the love of God. God is not a human being. God is not a person. This is such a big problem with Christians because so many people have been hurt by people who said they loved them. So many people have been disappointed by people who stated that they loved them. And they compare the love of God to that. Listen to me. God is not a man. God is not a person. The love he has for you cannot be comprehended. Yes, you may feel like you are going through this world and you are facing so many challenges, so many difficulties, but that's the world we live in. We live in a fallen world, a fallen world that is full of challenges and problems, but the God that loves you and cares for you, his child is preparing a place of eternal peace and security. A place where you will never have to struggle again. Wouldn't you love that? Never having to struggle again. Never having to go through heartache or pain. But that is what the Lord Jesus is preparing for you. John 14, 1 to 3. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. God loves you. Get that into your head. And he is preparing a place for you. You won't have to struggle or cry or feel pain forever. God loves you. Stop. Stop comparing God's love to the love of people. Look forward to heaven. Look forward to heaven. You see those problems you are carrying in your mind and no one knows about them. Jesus knows everything. Jeremiah 1.5 says that before God formed you, he knew you. Perhaps you don't understand. God knows you more than you know yourself. He knows already before you open your mouth to tell him about your struggles. You might feel powerless and helpless in the situation you find yourself in. But remember this, God knows you. Maybe you are insignificant in your community or no one knows you in church. Can I tell you the truth? No matter how insignificant you feel you are, God knows your name. Jesus knows each step you take in your life. You are not unimportant to Jesus. He is watching over you. When Jesus was selecting his disciples, he saw a man named Nathaniel. Jesus had never talked to Nathaniel before, and no one ever discussed Nathaniel's story with Jesus. But Jesus knew him. John 1, 47, 48. Nathaniel was surprised that Jesus knew everything about him. No matter who you are, no matter what your story is, Jesus knows it all. The woman of Samaria who met Jesus at the well couldn't believe there was someone who knew her story. 
Jesus knew about the noble man's son who was sick. Jesus knew the man's son was unwell and commanded healing to locate him. John 4. Jesus knew Judas Iscariot would betray him. Jesus knew Peter would deny him three times. Jesus knew everything about everyone. You are not different, and your situation is not different either. Nothing about you is hidden from Jesus. Jesus says in Revelation 1 date that I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. Jesus is the beginning and he knows the ending of a thing. He knows your origin and he knows how it will end. Jesus knows you. Jesus knows your name. No matter the population of this world, Jesus knows your history and he keeps a record of you. Jesus understands where you are coming from. He sees what you have been through, knows what you are going through, and knows what is coming for you. Jesus knows everything about you. The problems of this world can easily make you feel as if God has forgotten you or has left you. God has not forgotten you, remember that. God has not forgotten you, neither has he left you. Whatever you're going through right now, know that God has not forgotten you. Running to people who cannot help themselves will not help your situation. Running to people who do not know anything about you will not be the best solution to your problems. Stop running to those who cannot help you. You need to run to Jesus because he knows you. Get on your knees and pray to the God who loves you. John 15:15. 15, 15. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my Father I have made known unto you. It is a great privilege to have someone who truly understands us. It is a great privilege to have someone who knows what we want even before we open our mouths to speak. What kind of trouble are you going through in your life? Look, God sees it. God has not forgotten you. God knows about the storms in your marriage. And he is telling you that he has not left you to fight alone. God is right there with you. God knows about the financial crisis you are going through. Jesus knows you need a job. The Bible says you should cast your cares on him because he cares for you. Don't be blinded by the current situation you find yourself in. It won't last forever. God will not leave you to walk into the storm alone. He will go into it with you. Isaiah 43.2 when thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. God is not a fake friend who will run when it all becomes dark for you. God will not abandon you to face the situation alone. God will not deny you when the situation becomes more challenging for you. In fact, Jesus said he would give you peace. John 16, 33. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. When you're going through the valley of no hope, remember Jesus sees you. The psalmist concluded that there is nothing about him that the Lord doesn't know. Psalm 139.1.5 O Lord, Thou hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest my down-sitting and mine uprising. Thou understandest my thought afar off. Thou compassest my path and my lying down, and art acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, Thou knowest it altogether. Thou hast beset me behind and before, and laid Thine hand upon me. Above all, Jesus knows your flaws. Jesus knows that you are not perfect, but still came to die for your sins. Jesus knows that you are like a flower, quickly fading, here today and gone tomorrow. 
but he still knows you and cares for you. We are like vapor in the wind, but guess what? He still sees us and knows us. We are like a grain of sand in a heap of sand or on the beach, but Jesus can spot us. He knows us. He chose to die for us. I always wonder what we have done to deserve the love that Jesus is showing us or has shown us, and I can find nothing. We have not done anything to deserve the love. Jeremiah 31, 3 says, The Lord hath appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. Jesus loves you more than you can ever imagine. Oh, hallelujah. Behold, your cries have not fallen on deaf ears. The Lord, our shepherd, knows his sheep. And oh, he knows you. This earth, my beloved, is indeed rife with tumult and tribulations, where every soul is acquainted with the intimate dance of joy and sorrow. But worry not, weary heart, for the Savior knows your steps. He's the light breaking through your darkest days, the melody in your silent night, the architect of your deliverance. When the world feels like it's weighing you down, remember the Almighty. He knows your burdens. He's seen every tear that has moistened your cheeks, heard every silent scream resonating within your trembling heart. For He is the God of all creation, the weaver of your being, the holder of your essence. Your prayers, whispered in the quiet corners of your soul, they echo through the heavens heard by the one who formed the stars and created the skies. Heard by the one who heals the sick. Heard by the one who rises the dead. Heard by the one who makes the lame walk. Heard by the one who walks on water. Heard by your Redeemer and your Messiah. Your pain is not a lone echo in the vastness. It's a symphony heard by the Maestro, felt by the Creator, understood by the Savior. Jesus, the epitome of divine love. He is the friend who sticks closer than a brother, the constant companion in your wandering. Your name is carved on the palm of His hands. Your essence is imprinted in His heart. You are never a whisper away from His love, never a step away from His embrace. Remember the woman at the well, unknown, unseen by the world, but known by Jesus. He saw her. He knew her struggles, her pain, her history, her past. Just like her, you are seen, you are known. Your past, present, and future, they are an open book to the author of life, the painter of your destiny. And oh, how wonderful it is to be cherished by the Eternal to be enveloped by the unconditional love that surpasses all understanding. It's a love that never fails, a love that never ends, a love that covers a multitude of sins, a love that transforms, redeems, and restores. He knows you, beloved. He knows your frailties, your insecurities, your every fear, yet His love for you remains unshaken, unchanging, undying. He's calling you to come to the foot of the cross, to lay down your burdens, your guilt, your shame, and to receive His grace, His mercy, His redemption. As you walk through the valleys, climb the mountains, and cross the deserts of life, remember the Almighty walks with you. So lift your eyes, lift your hearts to the heavens. Cast all your cares upon Him, for He cares for you. Cast your care upon him, for he loves you. Cast your cares upon him, for he knows you. Cast your cares upon him, for he will never, ever, ever leave you. In the multitude, in the crowd, he sees you. In the silence, in the solitude, he hears you. You are never alone, never forsaken, never forgotten. 